Most people want God to do certain things for them this year. Most people also have dreams that they want to achieve through the help of God this year. You might have been asking God to do some things for you for the past few years. And this year also, you have written it down that God, do this, do that for me. I've been asking you for many years. But what I want to share today, we fast forward what you have been asking God to do for you many years ago. Keep watching to know the secret on how to achieve all your dreams this year, even beyond your imagination. Hello everyone, my name is Afalake Janet Oyelami. Most people want God to do certain things for them this year. Most people have been asking God, Lord, do this for me in my business, in my home, in my finance, in all aspects of my life. But we have not seen the result that you really, really desire. I also might have done this wrong in the past that delayed my request from God. But once I got the solution to how to get my request from God answered quickly, miraculously, since then, my life has never remained the same. That is why I was inspired to share this with you today. So that you also might check your life. To so check what you are doing wrong that is delaying most of your requests from God. But before I continue into today's topic, I would like to share the keyword that summarizes today's topic. The keyword today says, In the time past, Daniel and Esther only ate vegetables for days before they were presented to the king. We were told that they were the best, the wisest individual among their colleagues. We got to know that their skin was glowing and they both were looking beautifully than others. Man shall not live by bread alone, but on word of God as well. Daniel and Esther listened to their inner mind. They refused to eat meat and the king delicacies and they were chosen as the best among others. What you eat physically matters. Likewise, what you eat into your soul matters. That is what will determine your skin condition and your wisdom. The topic I'm sharing today says how different type of fasting can fast forward your dream achievement. But first, what is the meaning of fasting? Fasting is a spiritual discipline that is taught in the Bible. Jesus expected his followers to fast, and he said that God reward fasting. Fasting, according to the Bible, means to voluntarily reduce or eliminate your intake of food for a specific time and purpose. When most people hear about fasting, including me before i was saying mm, i don't like fasting i just like to do my own thing my own way but i'm going to share with you some benefits of fasting number one fasting draw you closer to god actually in the beginning god said go ye and multiply that is a blessing to every generation to everyone in the world. But let me tell you today, without God, you cannot achieve anything. Let me tell you this secret. You might be thinking, what of the unbelievers that are blessed, that are wealthy, but they don't know God? You might be thinking that way. But let me tell you this. The unbeliever that doesn't know God before, they are now running to God. Because most of them that doesn't know God with their wealth, with their wealth, we notice some of them are falling under 
the attack of depression in one way or the other. But the benefit of fasting is this. It draws you more closer to God. Fasting also increases your wisdom. Daniel fasted and his wisdom was increased. Fasting will make you to overcome some addiction, some wrong addiction that you have been trying to drop for many years. Fasting improves your personal discipline in all areas of your life. You become disciplined to do the right thing. You become disciplined over your job. You become disciplined over your business. You become disciplined as a mother, as a father, as a person. You will win battles that you never fight for. From where I come from, some people call God like this. Obeninija, Keru Obeninija. The meaning is this. God is the one that fights battle on your behalf. That when he fights for you, you too will be scared that how can God do this? So these are just the few benefits of fasting. Now let me go straight to the point on today's topic. Now, what are the different ways that you can fast? This different type of fasting that I'm going to share today, I too doesn't know it. But the more I grow in Christ, the more I meditate, the more God revealed this to me. Most people don't like fasting. But there are ways, based on the definition I give about fasting, there are different ways you can fast. And God will listen to you because He sees your heart that you are desperate to achieve that thing you are asking from Him. The first type of fasting I'm going to share with you today is Take off things you really love to do or you really love to eat on a daily basis for a certain period of time. For example, if you normally drink tea like me every day and you love drinking juice every day, but you don't want to skip your food from 6 to 6 on a daily basis, you can fast this way. Stop drinking tea, maybe for the next 21 days that you desire to fast. You stop drinking that tea and you can eat your normal food. Or you stop drinking that juice and you can eat your normal food. So once you stop the tea and the juice you normally drink every day, but you still eat your food and you list all what you needed God to do for you, and keep on praying daily on those things. God sees your heart that you tried your best to stop what you really love to do just because you want to achieve those dreams, just because you want him to do that thing you have been asking him for a long time. If you are serious on the fasting, this type of fasting, without drinking tea, without drinking juice, but you still eat and pray on your request. Let me tell you the truth. God sees your heart. He will answer you. Number two type of fasting that you can embark on if you can fast for the whole day is this. No meat fasting. Let me tell you this. This type of fasting will benefit you both spiritual and physical. Spiritually, whatever you are asking God for, through His mercy, He will answer you. Physically, in your health, your weight will be reduced, cholesterol will be reduced in your body because there is fat in meat. But when you go on no meat fasting, one, it will benefit you spiritually and physically. But the most important thing is, when you go on no meat fasting, make sure you list what you want God to do for you. When you list those requests on your paper, pray over it. Don't touch that meat, maybe for the next 21 days, and you will see there will be a change. God is a merciful God. He will hear you. And lastly, no food fasting. Some people fast from 3 a.m. to 3 a.m. 
without eating. Some people fast from 6 to 6, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. without food. And some people fast from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. without food. Whichever one you choose, let me tell you the truth. God sees your heart. That is what I will keep on saying. Whatever fasting you embark on, do it wholeheartedly. Do it with your own heart. Be desperate for a change over that thing you are praying for. I'm telling you the truth. I've tried it and I've seen God move. When you see a mountain that refuses to come down, embark on any of these three types of fasting. In conclusion, I will advise also that whenever you are trying to fast by embarking on any of these three types of fasting I've shared with you, if you want it, I will advise you to take some Psalms, especially Psalm 24. If what you have been asking for have taken a long time, use Psalm 24 to break that yoke. I have used Psalm 24 to break some yoke in my life and I've seen God move. If you don't want Psalm 24, look for other Psalm in the Bible that talk about what you are facing, that talk about how to solve the problem you are requesting from God. Also, keep on doing this type of fasting Keep on using the sound that pertain to your problem until God answers you. And be grateful every time and you will see God move. I hope this encourages you. I hope this makes you to run after your dream. God bless.